The Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS add-in is a great way to run Mastercam. It has the advantage of allowing the part to be easily altered when required, and all of the part tolerances are with the solid model. A part drawing is truly no longer required. Once my model is ready to start the tool pathing process, I'll need to turn on the add-in. To do that, I'll come up to the Features ribbon here, select the drop-down arrow beside the Options gear, scroll down to Add-ins, here in the window I'll scroll down and under other add-ins I'll enable the checkbox to turn Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS on and to turn it on when I start up from now on because I'm going to be using it a lot. I'll select OK and then I'll have to wait a few minutes for it to load everything. I'll know the add-in is fully loaded because it'll open this Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS tab over here and I'll also have the Mastercam Toolpath Manager tab here as well as the Mastercam ribbon here. So next, I'll select the Mastercam Toolpath Manager. And if you're a Mastercam user, everything should look very familiar now. The SOLIDWORKS interface is still here. Mastercam has added an access to the part here. And we see our machine group and properties and toolpath group over here. So let's take a quick look at the interface. Again, over here on the right, and I have access to many great resources for Mastercam and Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS. I'll just click back in white space. Any CAD functions unique to Mastercam, which are not part of SOLIDWORKS, can be found in this drop-down menu. The configuration menu is here. If I come over here in the system configuration and select the Mastercam for SOLIDWORKS tab, I can configure how I would like it to work on startup, including which plane in SOLIDWORKS equals Mastercam's top plane, what tool plane I want as the default, what work coordinate system, and what startup product. For this course, we're focusing on mill, so I'll leave it set to the Mastercam mill. And if I make any changes here, this button will turn blue with a white circle on it, and I'll select it to apply them, and then I'll save the changes here. For now, I'll close this window. The default machine can be seen over here. I'll just expand the properties. To select a different machine, I would choose the drop down arrow below Toolpath Utilities, and I can move down, choose a different machine definition or control definition, and many other standard Mastercam functions can be seen here. If I want to show my axis lines, I can come up here and tell to draw the axis lines, or click it again to turn them off. And all the standard Mastercam toolpaths for which my SIM will work can be seen here in these drop-down menus.